Hi students, today we will be discussing arithmetic progressions and this we will be discussing two parts. One, the value that comes in the nth position based on the pattern followed by the terms in the arithmetic progression and second is sum of n terms in this progression. For the first, in the sequence of arithmetic progression, the first term and the second term, let's say, differ by a value d. So the second term will be a plus d. The same difference is maintained across the sequence. So the third term will have a difference of d with respect to the second term. So we add d to the second term and we get the third term. And fourth term will be a plus 3d when you add d to the second term. And so on, we get the nth term. So the nth term, a n or t n, is given by a plus n minus 1 into d where l is the position where the value is found. Now let's find the sum of the n terms of these sequence. We add a, a plus d, a plus 2d, so on till a plus n minus 1 into d. We write the same series in the reverse direction. a plus n minus 1 into d plus a plus n minus 2 into d and a plus n minus 3 into d plus and so on a and when you add both the series we end up getting a plus a to a plus n minus 1 into d plus again adding these two a plus a is 2a n minus 2 plus 1 is n minus 1 into d the same so on a plus a to a plus n minus 1 into d so we get the same value repeated n times so we get 2sn is equal to n times 2a plus n minus 1 into d which means sum of n terms in arithmetic progressions is given by n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d here n is the position or the total number of values and a is the first term of the sequence and d is the common difference so this is a question in arithmetic progression uh, exam point of view the question is a p th q th and r th term of an ab is x y and z respectively show that x into q minus r plus y into r minus p plus z into p minus q is equal to z so these are the term positions and these are the values at those positions so we will be using this formula nth position that is p position we have value x q position we have value y that position we have value z so the first one is p position a p the position value is first value we don't know the first term of this arithmetic sequence so let's consider it as a plus the position is p so p minus 1 we don't know the common difference so let's consider it as d so a p is given as x the value in the p position is given as x so this is the first statement the second statement says y is a value at q position which is a plus q minus 1 into d and z is equal to a r which is a plus r minus 1 into d so the first statement from this statement we get these three equations now let's see what to find show that x into q minus r right so i'll multiply q minus r with the first equation so we get x into q minus r is equal to a into q minus r plus p minus 1 into q minus r multiplied to d so i multiply q minus r on both sides of the equality now we do the same with the first second part and the third part we we'll multiply r minus p on both sides to this equation and we get a into r minus p plus q minus 1 into r minus p into d and with this equation we will multiply p minus q on both sides p minus q plus r minus 1 into p minus q into d now let's add all the three that is what is given here so x into q minus r plus y into r minus p plus z into p minus q is equal to when you add all these three we have q minus half r here plus r minus p plus p minus q and plus at this side when we multiply p into q minus p into r minus q plus r d is common in all the three so i'll write it at the end now plus q r minus q p minus r plus p plus r p minus r q minus p and plus q whole multiplied to d now look at this interestingly q gets cancelled 
R also gets cancelled and P also gets cancelled. And here in this part, plus PQ minus PQ minus PR plus PR minus Q plus Q plus R minus R plus QR minus QR plus P minus P. So this is zero. This is also zero. So A multiplied to zero and B multiplied to zero is zero. Hence X into Q minus R plus Y into R minus P plus Z into P minus Q is equal to zero. So we make use of the first formula element in the nth position because the question talks about elements in the respective positions. This is the second question. If nth term of an AP is 1 by n and the nth term of an AP is 1 by n, show that the sum of mn terms is half mn plus 1. Now this question contains the formula related to n position as well as sum of n terms. Now let's look at the first statement, nth term. So he is talking about the value at nth position. So am, the n indicates a position and am is a plus m minus 1 into d because the position value is what we write here. Now the value at nth position is 1 by n. So that is the first equation. So 1 by n is in the nth position which is given by first term plus m minus 1 into d. Now the second statement says the nth term is 1 by n. So the value in nth position is a plus n minus 1 into d. And what is the value in that nth position? It is equal to 1 by m. Now he's talking about sum of mn terms is half mn plus 1 is what we need to prove. Now if you look at sum of n terms, Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d requires the value of position and the values of first term and the common difference. So from these two equations, equation 1 and 2, we will find the values of a and d which are required to find the sum of the terms. So to find a, subtract 1 and 2, subtract and 2. So I'll get 1 by n minus 1 by n is equal to a and a gets cancelled. We have m minus 1 minus n plus 1 into d. So we get this after let's say m minus n by m into n is equal to m minus n into d. Since m is not equal to n, we cancel m minus n and we get the value of d as 1 by m into n. We'll substitute the value of d here and find the value of a in the first equation. So it implies 1 by n is equal to a plus m minus 1 into 1 by mn. Now, this is 1 by n is equal to a plus, when you multiply m with m by n, we get 1 by n minus 1 by m into n. 1 by n gets cancelled and we get a is equal to 1 by m into n. So the value of b and a are same. Now let's find sum of mn terms, m into n terms. So this will be mn by 2 because the total number of terms given are n. Here the total number of terms given are m into n. So mn by 2 into 2a plus mn minus 1 into d. Now let's substitute the values of a and d here. We have a as 1 by mn, right? mn, 1 by mn here, plus mn minus 1 by mn because value of d is also 1 by mn. Now adding these two, we get mn by 2. 2 minus 1 is plus 1. So we have mn plus 1 by mn. This 2 gets cancelled. We end up getting half mn plus 1 as sum of mn plus mn terms.